In my opinion, Mario is real. Now you might you might disagree with me. But there in this in this small lovely little earth, this lovely little planet on which we live, there is a plumber living in Brooklyn called Mario. He fought in the Vietnam War and his games are documentaries and there's nothing to be afraid of. Because as long as you live, you have experienced through those games what it's like to be a hero, what it's like to be someone incredibly brave, incredibly passionate, someone who so enthusiastic about capitalism that then when they collect a single coin, they scream woohoo at the top of their lungs. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the audacity, the beauty, how bespoke an individual would have to be to not only be the deepest metaphor for the Communist Party while also collecting coins and just being rejoiced? Because you know, because he's not keeping a single coin for himself. Because that's going directly taxationed into Mario's healthcare system. Because when he has 100 coins, that's enough money to save a life. And that's why, when Mario dies, he loses 100 coins worth of one-ups. And it's gotten so beautiful that in Mario Odyssey, he just uses, loses a few. He's got it so efficient. Mario is real, not because he's alive, but because he cannot die. Does that make sense? That's something beautiful. Have I raised the quarrel? Have I shared the thought? Have we mutually experienced art together? Have you taken this in? Did we have a moment? That's what, that's what, that's why this stream should be a talk show. That's what this should be about. This is the moment now where everything changes. This is the milestone in Strontium Muffin streams. This is it. This is the one. Shut up, Rory. She shut the fuck up, man. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I thought, come on. <laughs> that was no way that wasn't the best thing you've ever heard. Come on. I love this song. I fucking love this song. Have you heard this? Have you heard this? The shit fucking bounces, man. This shit fucking bounces off the walls. I should get a clip of my stream there and I should upload that because I think that was nice. Have you heard this track? Hmm. Mario's real and he fought in Vietnam. <laughs> I have evidence. I have evidence. The Mario Game & Watch game where you're Mario and you're dropping bombs. I know it's real because Mario's smiling when he drops the bombs on the Vietnam forest. No man would smile. But the thing is, there were people out there who loved War a Million, and Mario was one of them, sadly. It's devastating that a man like Mario, a man, man that we see now is only, only good in his heart, full of, full of the kindness of man, full of, he is, a, he is one of the people. He's an immigrant, he's a hard worker, He's loving to his siblings. He's a family man. And he dropped bombs with a smile on his face. Because that's who Mario was back in Vietnam. But he changed. He learned things aren't about war. He saved, he saved royalty. He's been part of every different structure of hierarchy, political and economic system. And he's always had a smile on his face from beginning to end. He just tried his best and that's i think it's because he's had his bottom two hierarchy of needs met and that was just enough that was enough for him he knew for the rest of his life if he did nothing if he didn't work a day but because because he put the effort in to give back to his community he knew from his his world he was always going to give back the minimum of what he needed and that was enough okay what do you think about that
That was good. Thank you. It's true. It was alright. Also, it's true. My name's Mr. PUBG, and I'm on the H3 podcast. I moved to Thailand for love. We're gonna put 